Hi guys, it's Ali here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make some mixed media tags to go into my winter journal. I've got a couple of pieces of watercolour card here. I'm going to make some tags. So I've just got my trimmer. So I'm just going to cut them down to size. Um, I'm not too sure how big I want them. Let's have a little look. I've got a mountain on the side of my desk as per usual. Um, I think we'll have them three by, let's have a look, um, three by five, so I'm going to cut six pieces of three by five, Of those scrap bits, three, three four, five, six. Right, there we go. So I've cut my tags down. Let's just move that out of the way. So I've just got my six pieces of card there. I'm just going to create my tag shape at the top. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off the corner. Okay, and I'm going to just cut my others down just using this one as my template. Put the ends off. How are we all doing? Are we all okay? Hope so. I'm feeling much, much better, thank goodness. I'm just hoping now that I'm going to be all right and we have a nice Christmas. We're all sorted now. All the shopping's done. Everything's away. Everything's wrapped and ready. So we're all ready to go, as they say. My husband went this morning for the last bit of shopping. You know, fresh produce, salad and fruit and uh, veg. So, yeah. We've got everything we need now, I hope. <laughs> Although, he did say, in, uh, he went to a couple of supermarkets, he said in Lidl there wasn't a toilet roll on the shelf, so I don't know whether people are panic buying again, I couldn't tell you, but he said there just wasn't one toilet roll on the shelf in Lidl, which is, seems very strange, doesn't it? I don't know, but who knows? Right, okay, so I've got my tags there. So first of all, I'm going to start off, I'm just going to put a layer of white gesso on all of my tags. So where's my gesso? It's here. Let me just grab it. Just put a layer of this down, just because I'm going to use some acrylic paint over the top. So I've just got a big brush here, I'm just going to paint over
slightly to one side and then I've got a little bit more room to work with. Um, I've got some acrylic paints at the side of me here. I've got four colours. Uh, they're all metallic paints. So I'm going to start off with my darkest, which is this metallic sapphire. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the side of my mat. I've got some sponges and I'm just going to sponge onto my tags. I like the texture of the, these are just um, artist sponges, but any sponge, bath sponge, just cut a sponge up and um, just, just use that. You don't need special sponges. I've just got these because these were bought for me. That's why I'm using these. So I'm just dabbing on the colour, as you can see. Just put a bit more on. And then I'll just bring this one in. I just like the texture that the sponge gives in the background. There's that one. I don't know if we'll be able to fit all six on the screen, but we'll try do them together. Okay, two more. Now I'm not bothered about the back of them. Obviously, I'm going to have to back them with some cardstock because I can't help but get the backs covered in paint when I'm creating them so what I'll do is when I finish them I'll just put a little bit of white card you know back them so I'm going to dry off in between each colour then it doesn't go all muddy okay so there's my first colour so let's put that sponge over there we finish with that paint right I'm just going to dry off this first layer so let's see if I can fit them all on here I need a bigger mat okay Long to dry that because I've only put a thin layer on. Let's just wipe that blue up. Put a couple there for a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to come in now with this metallic silver. Just put a little bit of that down. Okay, and then I've got another sponge. I'm just gonna go over. This is gorgeous paint. This one. I don't um America Americana silver multi-surface metallic it's got like glitter in it it's beautiful and um, really gorgeous paint let's have a look if you don't know whether the camera will pick the glitter up in the paint there it's really beautiful um, I was just having a sort out through my mixed media trolley and I found this silver I thought this would be beautiful on my tags so yeah it's gorgeous paint isn't it surprising what you find when you start having a tidy up? Um, it's just one of those uh, trolleys, you know, from uh, Hobbycraft for anybody in the UK. Just like the trolley on wheels that I keep all my mixed media stuff on. And to be honest, I was giving it a dust because I could see the dust on top of the paint. It's not been dusted for ages and ages. And I found this silver paint. So, oh, we'll have a go with that with my winter tags really beautiful okay just a little touch more for the last one okay just bring that last one in I've just wet these sponges under the tap and squeezed them out really tight just so that they're damp just think the paint spreads better okay so let's put my heat gun on and dry off that colour Okay, so next I'm going to come in with this pearl frosted mint. I'm going to do this one. Put a bit of this down. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it'll show up over. I'm just going to cut this sponge in half. I'm hoping it will show up over. Yeah, it will. Just, this is metallic as well. It's beautiful. There's that one. I did get a tealy colour out but I don't think I'm going to put the teal on, I think I'm just going to leave it with these three colours, I think I've got enough on there, I don't want to spoil it. And this one, just put a little bit more paint down. Go 
gorgeous colours. And the last one, just getting rid of all the white space at the bottom, okay. Yes, I'm happy with those, I think. Okay, so let me just get rid of that white bit at the top there. Okay, so I'm going to put on my heat gun and just dry off this paint. She says, what have I done with it? There it is. Metallic paints that I've used. Let's have a look if you can see. I hope you can, because they are really beautiful. Okay, so let me just move them over there for a minute and just give this mat a little wipe over. In fact, I can move that out of the way now. I'm not using any more paint. I'm just going to wipe my hands over because they're covered in paint. I'm going to have a quick little sip of my coffee before it goes cold. Okay, right, moving on. Let's bring the tags back in. So I want to put something in the background. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I've got a couple of stamps here. I've got this one, which is Music Notes. I'm going to do three in this and three in script. So what colour should we use? Let's move those paints. We've finished with them now. Um, I think I'm going to go with this Paris Dusk. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And I'm just going to stamp down onto... Let me just grab a piece of scrap paper. So I don't get ink all over everywhere. That's better. Right, so I've put my ink on my stamp and I'm just going to stamp some of this music, sheet music into the background. Just so you can see a little bit. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up. Yeah, I can see it. Can you see it there just in the background? Okay, so there's one. Might have been easier on a block to be honest because the stamp's quite floppy. We'll, we'll carry on. This is a memento ink, just one of the little memento ones. I've just been in my stash and got out all my blue inks and grey inks. Okay, and this one. I just want something in the background, that's all. I've got some tags out of the kits that I've printed off, but I just wanted a couple of mixed media bigger ones to put in the big pockets at the front and that. Right, okay, so that's that stamp. Let me just put that over there. And then I'm going to use this one, which is just a script stamp. This is a For the Love of Stamps Hunky Dory. I'm just using this script one here. Just get that off. Okay. Right, let's just put my, I think I'll stick with that same colour ink. Uh, no, I won't. I'll try this one. Let's see what this is. Dan Danube Blue. We'll try that one. It might be a bit lighter. If I don't like it, we'll go back to the darker one. Okay, so I've just inked up my stamp. Let me see there. I'm just going to put some... Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that stamp. Forgot all about this stamp. I was looking through my stash, you know, looking for a, a script stamp. And I found this one. There you go. Can you see the script just in the background there? So that's that one. And now this one. Got lovely blue fingers for the rest of the day. It's a nightmare to get off this memento ink. It takes forever. Look at the state of that already. Okay, and the last one is this one. And okay, there we go. Right, let me just grab a wipe out and just wipe over that stamp. I'm just going to wipe my hands as well give them a good scrub after okay so that's that stamp right what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling on the background I think I'm going to use my um, Nouveau embellishment mousse to do some stamp uh, stenciling with I've got a couple of stencils I'm going to start off with a snowflake one um, let me just make sure we've got them on there. I don't know what it's going to be like, this mousse, so it's going to be trial and error. 
so I'm going to, this is Old Navy, I've got my mousse, I just want my palette knife, if we can't see it I'll go over it with, I'll go over it with uh, an ink, okay so I've got two clean sponge dobbers, I'm just going to put my dobber in, and let's have a look if it comes through onto the have a look oh yeah it does in the background I'll show you in a minute yeah you can just see the snowflakes in the background so I'll do that one uh, let's do another one with the snowflakes really lovely stuff this embellishment mousse if you've never worked with it it's really nice to play with yeah there we go can you see there just the snowflakes in the background okay so I'm going to put my lid on that and I'm going to go to my ink because I've just done two in that one um, right let's just put that one down there for the time being and let's grab another stencil I've got this one here I love this stencil so I'm going to just do some inking over here um, I'm going to use my chipped sapphire so I've got my blending brush and I'm just going to ink over here and we see there yeah just to put some something into the background oh yeah I like that over it a little bit more okay that's really pretty can you see that stencil in there I like that I think it's one of my favorite stencils this one okay so I'm going to do the same with this one let's just have a little look beautiful I'm really happy with that there you go can you see that okay so let's grab my other stencil um, I've got this one which is the leaf or I've got a snow uh, I don't know whether I should try the snow let's try this one okay I'm going to go with the Paris dusk let's have a look what this is like and put some snow in the background here if I don't like it I can go over it with something else have a look. No, I'm not keen on that one. No, I don't think there's enough pattern on there. So I'm going to go back to my chip sapphire and I'll use this one. This one with the leaf, leaf, leaves, leaf pattern. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up my sponge and just go over there. Let's have a look. Oh, that's much better. I like that one better. Okay, so you can just see the leafy pattern in the background. I hope you can. This, I always wonder whether the, I mean, I don't think that you can't see as good off camera as close up, obviously, but I hope you can see the stenciling that I've done and the metallic paint that we've used because it really does look gorgeous close up. Right, I'm happy with that. So there we go, we've got our stenciling done. Right, let's put that over there, bring back in my my tags, so we're all stencils up there. What I'm going to do next is I've got my Nouveau, Nouveau Glacier Paste, this is the ice blue. Or should we, no, I'm not going to use the blue because I've got a lot of blue on there. I'm going to use the Nouveau Glimmer, Glimmer Paste in white, it's like a stardust, I think that's what it's called. Um, did I bring another little brush? I'm sure I did. I'm just going to grab a little paintbrush. I'll be one second. Okay, so I've got a little paintbrush and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint some of the glimmer paste over the top of my tags because it's really sparkly and beautiful and I think it'll just look gorgeous in the background I hope you can see that now can you see the 
glitter on there now hope so so I'll put that one there for a minute and on that one I'm going to be taking a couple of days off over Christmas um, with me not being well I haven't got any pre-recorded videos because I normally you know prepare before a holiday or anything and get some videos uploaded ready to schedule but because I've been in bed not well I haven't managed to schedule any videos so I'll be having a couple of days off Christmas Day and Boxing Day um, yeah but I'll be back after that just spend some nice I just want to chill and you know sit with the girls and husband and just watch some nice Christmas films and eat lots of chocolate and sweets and just just enjoy yourself I'm really happy with those now that looks beautiful even though I say so myself I just hope you can see the glitter on there I wish you could see them close up okay so let's put my lid on there now then I don't know whether I want to stick anything on the front of these tags now let me just oh sorry I'm catching the light again um, I don't know whether I want to stick something on the front of them let me just move that a minute I'm just going to get a clean piece of paper in fact I don't need any paper now we can just work on my desk right what do we think guys should we stick something on the front of these tags um, I think I'm just going to put my heat gun on and just dry off that glitter paste, glimmer paste. I won't be a minute. Oh no. It's like my heat gun's not working. No. Nope. Oh, that's all I need if that's packed in. Okay, so I'm not going to dry them off. I've got all my die cuts here. Remember I said I'd die cut some, some die cuts up hat we could just put some snowflakes on these what do we think if we put yeah I think that'll be nice to you and maybe one of these stacks I can always cut more I can always cut more what do we think of those if I just put a snowflake on one and a stag on the other I think I like those right let's do that then I can always cut more die cuts if I need to. I'm going to try this Nouveau glue and see if it'll stick the snowflakes down. Hopefully, otherwise I'll have to get my gel medium out. I think this should stick it down. Oh no, don't say my heat gun's broke. I'll be lost without that. Okay, let's stick that down there. I'm just going to press onto it for a minute because it's full of glitter let's hope that sticks what do we think I think that looks nice doesn't it can you see there okay just make sure that I've got enough glue on because I don't want it to come up sorry I might be off camera there a little bit I'm just gluing right to the very ends of the snowflakes and then they don't come up okay so there's that one put that there for a minute and let's cut glue this stag down okay right let's put that down there can you see there guys I'm just gluing down making sure I've got enough glue all over so it sticks okay there's that one yeah these were the Tim Holtz snowflake dies that I showed you you know in the other video let me just poke those little bits out of there I've not got them out and I've die cut them there's two little bits stuck in there there we go that's it right might take me a minute to just glue this snowflake up but I don't want it to come off so do you know what I'm going to do I'm going to put some glue on my hands 
and put my snowflake through it. I find that this is an easy way, you know, if you're trying to glue something really intricate, put some glue on the back of your hands. I know some people don't like gluey hands and then it just covers your... And I'm not bothered that you can see the glue because it dries clear. Just an easier way than trying to sit and glue. You know, if you don't mind the feel of the glue on the back of your hand, which I don't. It's an easier way to glue. Um, intricate things. I'll trim that off in a minute. Right, let's stick this other stag down. Like I said, I'm not bothered if you can see the glue a little bit because uh, it dries clear. Make sure his feet are glued up. Okay, let's stick that one on there. Okay, so there's that one. Right, we'll do the same with these snowflakes. Let's just hope they've missed some little bits out when I've die cut them. Okay, let's put some more glue on my hands. Just make it a bit easier for myself. And then just put your, your die cut through the glue. Then you can get to all the little corners then. Stick that on there. Okay, and let's put a bit more on to do this big one with. Okay, this big blue one, I've poked everything out of there, I've missed little pieces, you know when I've die cut them, oh I spent forever die cutting, like I said you can see the glue on the top of there now but you won't see it when it dries, it dries clear, so let's press that down. I'm really happy with those. I am really happy. I think they look really nice, all glittered up. Where's that coming up? This one doesn't want to stick. Come on, stick down. Now you always get one, don't you, that doesn't want to do what you want it to do. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's all those stuck down. Right, let me just wipe over my hands because I'm covered in paint and glitter. How long have we been on? Okay. Right. Let's just put the lid on my glue for a minute. So there we go then, we've stuck all those snowflakes on there. I'm just going to trim behind and just trim the, the ends off them, the snowflakes. That, see at the back I've got paint and everything all over the back. Uh, once they're dry I will back them. I've got some white cards here. I was going to do it on camera but they're still a bit wet so I won't be able to turn them over yet. But what I'll do is I'll just put some white cards on the back of there. So that's how we're looking at the moment. Them in. I'm really happy with those. I think they look nice and wintry, don't they? So what do I want to do next? Oh, his foot's coming up. Let me just put a little bit more glue on his foot. I hope that stays down. Right, I've got some words. So I think we'll have a little word on there. Just at the top. Let's have a look for... Where's my big scissors? Right, we'll have Snow Winter Crisp Sparkle. We'll have that one because these are very sparkly. I can always print more of these out. Um, snow Day. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. We want one more. We'll have that one, Blizzard. Okay, so we'll just cut around these little words. Um, I'll just get my small scissors, make it a bit easier. Right, 
house is very quiet at the moment I don't think I think the girls are making a cake they've got a big uh, unicorn cake to make I think that's what they're doing they must have shut the door into the kitchen because I can normally hear giggling and noise unless they're watching a film I know they were going to watch I think they were watching Christmas Chronicles or they were going to watch it whether they're doing the cake or whether they're watching Christmas Chronicles but they're very quiet can't hear a thing so I'm just cutting the edges off Yeah, I've got some tags in the kits that I've printed off so these nice mixed media ones I'll put in put a couple in the big pockets you know at the front and the back I think um, and then make some the ones from the kit and just add some glitter or something one more to do Right, let me just get rid of those little bits off my desk. My bin seems to have vanished. Never mind, I'll just throw them on the floor for now. Okay, let's stick these little words on. Um, I'm just going to use my ink and just ink around the edge of them. I'll do that first, just to darken them up a little bit. I think I'm going to ink around my tags as well. I'm using my... Um, chipped excuse me chipped sapphire ink they are so sparkly those tags I'll leave them now overnight to dry properly And then we'll come back and make some more. Right, I'm just going to ink around the edges of my tags. And then we'll put a hole in. Oh, they're gorgeous. I do hope you can see that sparkle. I do enjoy mixed media, I do love playing with different things, like I've said in a lot of my videos, I'm no expert whatsoever, but I do like to get all my stuff out and have a play with different mediums and see what I can do, I do love, I just love messing around with different, different things, seeing what the result is, I'm happy with these though, I am happy with these. You can just see the stamping in the background and you can see the stencil in close up so whoever gets the journal I hope they'll be happy with it. Right let's stick a word on one of these. Where did I put my glue? Right we'll have winter on that one. I'll just stick them on. I'm not going to look which ones because they're all going to go on one. Uh, top or bottom? Bottom because I'm going to put a hole in the top so we'll stick that one on there um, we'll have to put that one at the top because there's no room at the bottom because the snowflake's quite big okay let's just stick that down there that says blizzard that one and then this one oh, we've got room at the bottom for this one snow day I wish it would snow for Christmas. I'd love it to snow for Christmas Day for the kids. Really would. I think it'd be lovely. Don't think it will though. No sign of it, is there? It'd be lovely if we had a white Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to stick that snow just there. And then the last two. crisp stick that there and sparkle 
sorry if I've kept you on a bit longer than normal but I've done quite a bit there haven't I so I've probably gone over half an hour with this one right okay so all that's left for me to do is just get my hole punch punch a hole in one two I'm going to use some of my eyelash trim right let's just grab the eyelash trim let's put a few of these bits away and then we can see what we're doing right what colour should we use um, I'm going to cut a couple on each I think we'll have do you know what I think we'll have a little piece of each why not um, no, it might be too much, mightn't it? What do we think? Um, I think I'm going to put silver and white on these. I think, can you leave the other, leave the others for some different tags? I think it'll be too thick if I put too much on. Right, so we want six pieces. Let's just see if that's long enough. Don't know whether I'll be able to thread them both through together. Oh, there we go. What do we think of that? They look nice, don't they? Let's just trim it off a little bit. Okay, so there's one. And some more. Just being lazy, really, and trying to thread them both through together. Then I don't have to... It doesn't take me twice as long. Oh, it's very, very fiddly. My hands are all sticky as well, you know, off the glue, so it's making it even harder to grab. There we go. And there's that one. Trim them down a little bit. Right. This one. I forgot my coffee. It'd be cold again. I never seem to get a hot cup of coffee these days. I'm always seem to be starting drinking it and then put it down somewhere and it's always freezing when I get back to it. So that's that one. So yeah, we'll make some more ephemera next video um, before I stitch my journal in. I've been asked by a couple of people would I do the stitching on camera so I'll do that no problem I just didn't want to do it if people because you've seen me do it a few times but whilst I've been asked I'll do it okay two more we're nearly done like I said I'm sorry I've kept you on a bit longer today but I've done quite a bit on those tags quite a few layers but I am happy with them really happy with them And the end of the the silver there we go okay just trim that off a little bit and the last one I don't know whether I should have added some blue into this. I might do at a later date. I've messed that one up. Let me just try again with that one. There we go. Right, okay, let's just get rid of some of this tinsel off my desk and then I'll bring back in the tags and we'll show you. Just put them on there. I'll have to get the hoover out, I think. <laughs> I've got tinsel absolutely everywhere. Right, let's bring back in our tags then that we've made. So we've got okay. Should I try and zoom in just a little bit? Okay, so there we go then guys. There's my mixed media tags to go into my journal. As always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that little bell, which will notify you when I upload any new videos. So until next time, guys, take care. Thank you.
Bye.